Hello growers, Ecotech here to share you my latest microgreen project. This is a fully aut automated uh, system where I'm trying to basically take out all the variables and try to, to get the most consistent uh, environmental setup such that I can focus on what matters in terms of growing heights, the taste, and all of this in the microgreens. So over here, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five shelves. The sixth one is for storage. At the bottom, the prototype I've been working on for the past few weeks, if not months. Um, under there, you have the air filter. Uh, here, under this rack, we have the fan, uh, a humidifier for humidity control. Um, over there, this is uh, my current uh, water tank. Temporary. I'll get something better once I figure out the uh, the watering system. So here is the electronics and where all the magic happens. Uh, the microcontroller is in the center. I have relays. I have uh, sockets uh, connected to all the lights and whatnot, and I can control everything um, from internet on, on basically on my Google Calendar. So if I look over here, this is my Google Calendar. Um, and for today, Wednesday 15th, you can see that there's a meeting called Light General going from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, for shelf number 2, 3, and 5. So the fifth one is actually these lights here. Uh, but other than that, shelf 2, so 2 is on, 3 is on. You can see 4 is off and number 1 is off. But I can quickly change that from uh, basically any computer that I have access to. Um, and I connect to my Google account, go here. I can change in the description and let's add shelf number one so you can actually see the electronics better. So if I save this, let's do it for all the following events. Okay. And now all the following events, so every day Every following day, um, the the event repeats itself, and now this connects to the internet, checks the data, sees woo, it updates, and there we go. Now I can turn on the light. Um, the air filter is on on a schedule, so if we look here, uh, it's I've moved it so that I don't have noise during the video, but it's over here and it repeats every now and then. And there's also the fan. So let's, let's do a small demonstration that to prove that I can also control the fan. Let's bring the fan up to now, save it for this event. And again, if we wait a bit, you'll see that the fan turns on. And so basically what this allows me to do is try and get as many uh, variables uh, in the env growing environment uh, under control. And there we go, the fan turns on. Uh, such that uh, I'll turn it off for the sorry for the sound, but I'm trying to to eliminate all the uh, all the small fluctuations and play with the few constants such as the light. Um, I have different lights uh, here. It's not the same bulb as there. I even have custom lights over here from my uh, other uh, experiments. Uh, so I'll play with the, the quality of the light, the duration of the light, the schedules, the intensity and whatnot. The other thing that I'll be able to play around with is uh, the watering schedule. So here we have two pumps over there. One is to fill and the other one is to drain the system. So it's a ebb and flow or flood and drain system depending on uh, how you want to call it. And if we look here, let's do a small demonstration. Let's flood it. So right now it's 26. I think it's, yeah, it's 20, 26. 20, 26. Okay. Let's do it for, let's do it for two minutes. Probably won't be, it will be a bit less save. So here I've flooded shelf two and three, uh, but I have an individual control. So if we look at shelf two, you'll see that the light, uh, not the light, but the watering turns on. And basically the water will be able to, to rise up to a certain level and I'll be able to shut it off. Well, it'll shut off automatically. So here you have the other watering. And in every shelf I have a second 
one uh, with the filter and this is basically uh, the return valve well return pipe connected to a solenoid and um, both of them goes back to the pumps and they go over here to my very temporary um, tank by the way sorry for the state of these microgreens uh, they should have been harvested a week ago if not more and uh, on the top there you have my my small lettuces though they're they're doing fine they'll be going into this system later on so yeah uh, right now I'm able to, to play around with uh, with uh, the environment I've ordered small parts for the watering because these solenoid valves although right now they, they seem to be working um, they have been causing small issues and I am not comfortable with uh, these issues I don't want water to spill out everywhere on my floor and so basically I've ordered parts should arrive soon and that's the next step trying to replace these solenoids with ball valves which are more reliable and will uh, eliminate some of the small uh, bugs let's call them that I've been facing and uh, at which point I'll be able to really um, have a fairly stable system of other parts such as this power supply to, to put in to replace this current temporary one but yeah please let me know down in the comments what you'd like me to, to explain a bit more of this system if you're interested or let me know what you think might be interesting to, to automate or play around with. I have a lot of experiments that I'd like to do when I have the time, but who knows, maybe you'll have a, an idea that uh, will be my next priority and uh, I'll be able to play around with all this. Hey, there we go, the humidifier turned on. Yeah, thanks for watching, take care, bye.